Solo podcasting's great, but it's better with a friend or two or 10. That's why today we're covering everything you need to know about podcasting with guests in Podcastle. First things first, let's get started with our guests. There are two ways to do this. Let's start with scheduling an interview. Navigate to the schedule tab and click the schedule button. Enter in your details like the title of the recording, whether you'll be recording just audio or video too, and the date and time of your recording. You can invite up to 10 guests by adding in their email address to send them over a calendar invite. I'm still waiting on my response from Taylor Swift. And if you want, feel free to add a description detailing what the recording will be about. Click the send invite button and your email will be off. Then once you're ready to begin the recording, all you need to do is click enter studio. Another way to add guests to your recording is right from the recording studio. Enter in the recording details, select your recording type, and complete all of your information on the next page. From here, you'll have the option to copy the studio link and send it on over to your guest. Clicking on it will copy the link to your clipboard and you can paste it in a quick email and send it right off. Once you've joined the studio and your guest has accepted, their icon will pop up or their face in case you're doing a video interview. And the great thing about Podcastle is that everything is recorded locally and uncompressed. This means that you don't have to worry about any Wi-Fi related issues that have your guest sounding like a demon from another dimension. If this video has popped into your feed randomly and you're totally new to Podcastle, check out our how to start a podcast video for a great introduction to everything. Back to remote podcast podcasting, we still have three things to talk about. Editing, entertaining, and uploading. Let's start with entertaining first. I don't doubt that you have a million and one things to talk about with your guests, but sometimes it's nice to share an entertaining compilation of sports fails or try to back up your argument with a questionable Reddit thread from six years ago. This is where screen sharing comes in. To screen share, just click on the screen share tool in your recording bar, select the tab you wanna share, and boom, you are sharing your screen with all of your guests. There are a few key things that can really help boost the production value of your remote podcast. For one, Podcastle provides a separate audio track for each and every guest. This means that you can edit each guest track separately. So if one is a little too quiet and another has a vacuum cleaner running in the background, you'll be able to find the perfect balance for everyone. And it doesn't just apply to audio. You can even use AI tools within the video editor to make sure everyone one looks as good as they sound. You can even add name tags so that your guest and their occupation are immediately identifiable. Podcastle is going to be adding some new video tools in the very near future, so don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss any updates. Before we get into uploading, you should check out our video on team workspaces. It's crazy helpful if you've got a full team working together on a podcast project. Finally, it's time for editing, and it's a little bit different than solo podcast editing, so listen up. I won't go crazy in depth with remote editing as we already have a full video on recording, editing, and uploading, as well as our video on how to use all of our AI tools. Check out that link below. To begin the editing process, you'll want to go to your recording tabs where you'll find the locally recorded audio and video for you and all of your guests. And don't worry about taking up all of your precious storage space. All your recordings are uploaded to the cloud so you don't have to worry about taking up storage space on your own PC. If you can't access one of your guest files, they likely got a little bit too hazy and didn't wait for the upload to finish. Just send them the recovery link and wait for them to finish uploading. And there you have it, my friends, everything you need to know about remote podcasting with guests. Let us know your dream podcast guest in the comments below. The crazier, the better. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.